Hi everyone, it's Rebecca Virginia, and today I'm going to show you how to do four spring Dollar Tree DIYs. If you're new here, welcome. I post new DIY videos every Thursday, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Let's get started with the first spring DIY. The first spring DIY is a garden gate bunny. Here are all the supplies you'll need to recreate this DIY on your own. This piece of bunny home decor can be used inside the home or outside the home. But if you're going to be using it inside, you will need something for your fence to sit on. So that is why I took one of these wood planks from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting it brown. The Dollar Tree sells these really beautiful, ornate looking, but plastic fences. So I am going to just use one panel of this fence. So I'm taking my miter shears. I'll link these below. They're from Amazon and I love them. They cut through everything. And I just cut off that end piece. And then if you're going to be using this outside and staking it into the ground, you will need one more stake. So I took that from one of the other fence posts and then I just hot glued it down and adhered it to our current fence post. The galvanized bunny that is going to be the centerpiece of this DIY actually came from another Dollar Tree sign. I'll definitely be repurposing this sign for a future DIY, but for now, I just peeled off the galvanized bunny and we're going to be using him on the center. Starting in with some embellishments, I took this green and white garland from the Dollar Tree and I'm just wrapping it around the fence like a vine. If you can't find any of this garland, you could use some greenery, some florals, or even some jute. I wanted this to look like a garden fence or a garden gate. I was definitely going for farmhouse secret garden vibes. So to achieve this, I took these gorgeous floral picks that came out recently at the Dollar Tree and I'm just clipping them into three different sections and playing around with how I like them laid out. And I quickly realized that there was no way the bunny was gonna lay flat on top of these, so I just flipped the fence over and then I hot glued the florals to the back. And that way we have a good flat surface to later adhere our galvanized bunny onto. Now that our florals are secure behind the fence, I am taking some hot glue and just adhering the bunny to the front. And I really liked the way that this came out, not only for practical purposes, but it kind of looks like the bunny escaped the garden because he's on the other side of all the flowers. Or maybe he's being mischievous and trying to get in to eat the flowers. Who knows, but either way, I think it came out really cute. And to add a bit more of a farmhouse feel and to dirty it up because this is supposed to look like it's the fence to a garden, I took some brown paint and just distressed all around. If you're going to be using this DIY outside, then at this point you are done and ready to stake it down into the ground. But if you're going to be using it inside like me, you're going to take some miter shears or some industrial strength scissors and cut off the stakes before adhering it down onto the wood plank. And I forgot to do this, so you will see me figure that out a little bit later on the video, but I wanted to let you know in the voiceover that you do want to cut off those pointy stakes before you glue it down onto the wood plank. And now I'm just covering up the area that I hot glued and the entire bed of the wood plank with some Spanish moss. And after I added all of that Spanish moss, I just took a tiny pair of scissors to trim up any areas. And I realized that there was a large blank space in between where our fence was and the moss, which I then realized was because I forgot to take the stakes off. So I put a flower there and then it dawned on me that, oh yeah, I need to cut these off. So I went back in with those same miter shears from earlier and I just cut off that little section and cut off down below. And then I was able to hot glue our fence properly onto our wood plank. And it just took a little bit of messing around with the Spanish moss, but it all worked out, hot glue fixed everything. And I was able to get that back into a place that I liked. And those are all the steps you need to recreate your own garden gate bunny. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to use this outside or inside. The next DIY is a piece of spring home decor that uses a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. Here are the other supplies you'll need to make it.
We are starting off this DIY by taking a pizza pan, yes, a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. I know these can be a little bit hard to find. I know some people find them really easy, some people don't see them in their Dollar Trees. But you could also get, they have the oven trays that go in the oven for baking. So one of those would also work. It's a tiny bit smaller, but not too much. Then I am taking some white chalk paint and I am just covering the entirety of our pizza pan. And I'm doing it kind of messy because I want some of that silver pan to be showing through. So I'm just going through with about two coats of this white paint. To distress things up along the edges, I am taking a stippling brush from the Crafter Square section. I love this brush. And some dark brown paint and just going all around the edges and then lightly through the entire center of our pizza pan just to dirty things up and make it a little bit more farmhouse looking. The Dollar Tree sells this nautical rope. You could also get some of the tube mesh ribbon. They sell that in a brown color and that would work too. Or you can go with a bright color for Easter. But all that I'm doing with this nautical rope is hot gluing it all the way around the center part of our pizza pan, basically where the lip meets the middle. And I just hot glued it down. To decorate our pizza pan decor piece, I am taking this Happy Easter sign from the Dollar Tree. And I liked the jute ribbon, but I thought that I could double up my own jute. So I am basically just going to be using these carrots. And if you know me, you know that I do not like glitter. So I went ahead and sanded the glitter off and sanded both of the carrots to give it more of a farmhouse feel. And then took that same stippling brush and some brown paint to just dirty up my carrots so it looks like you just picked them. Then I did end up making my own jute bows and hot gluing those back down into place. When I sanded off all the glitter, it also made the Happy Easter a little bit more difficult to read. So I took some of this off-white paint that I had and a paintbrush and I just went over the lettering with that white paint so that the Happy Easter would really pop. To match the green on our carrot tops, I wanted to have a green bow. So I took some of this green ribbon and how I make my bigger bows is I create a loop and then I just cinch it in the middle and tie it with either jute or even a zip tie would work. Then I add on my tail and you could leave it just with the jute and I really like how that bow comes out. It looks very rustic, but to make it a little bit more farmhouse, I just add a knot with my bow by taking another piece of some scrap green ribbon and then I just hot glue it to the back. After adhering the bow down, it's time to add my little bunny. So to cut off the wood dowel part of him, I am taking these miter shears that I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below. I absolutely love them. They cut through everything. And I'm just kind of laying out where all of my little embellishments are going to go. And before I hot glue them down, I just wanted to stage them to see how I liked it. Then I'm taking my hot glue and starting off with the carrots and adhering those down. And I felt like I needed a little bit more down by my bunny. There was too much extra space, so I added a bit of Spanish moss. And then I glued down the carrots and the bunny. I love this DIY because it's so quick and easy and you can customize it to fit your style. The next DIY is a bunny trail sign. This works great inside and outside as well. Here's what you need to recreate it. For this DIY, I am taking a wood arrow sign that I found in the Crafter Square section of the Dollar Tree. And I actually originally intended to use this for a different project that didn't end up working out, so that's why it's already painted white. But I went ahead and painted it with one more coat of a brighter white. And then I took a stippling brush, also from the Crafter Square section, and went all around the edges with a dark brown paint to distress up the sign. To write our bunny trail sign, there are lots of different options you can use. The Dollar Tree has these great poster stickers, and they also have so many different types of rub-on transfers. And if you're one of the lucky few who has really good handwriting or maybe knows a bit of calligraphy, you can go ahead and just freehand it. I ended up using a vinyl decal, so that's what you're about to see with some of this editing magic. This sign is inspired by a Ray Dunn one of the same name that is quite a bit more expensive, so I had a lot of fun trying to recreate it using only Dollar Tree items. 
I found these great carrot stickers. They're so cute and they're made of felt. These came in a pack of 12 at the Dollar Tree, so I'm using two of them and just putting them to the left of Bunny. You could absolutely be done with the DIY here, but I thought it might be even cuter made into a steak sign. So I just took a paint stick and some white paint that we used on the arrow and just painted the entire paint stick and I did end up taking a tiny bit of brown paint and distressing it as well. I taped back the hanger on our arrow sign instead of cutting it because you never know if I change my mind and want to use it as a hanging sign. So I just taped that down and then added a bit of hot glue in our paint stick and that's how I adhered the arrow to the stick. I ended up using this DIY inside by placing it in a pot with a fake plant, but I think this would look really cute outside as well, maybe in a garden. The next DIY is a wine glass turned bunny tea light holder. Here's everything that you'll need to make this DIY on your own. To start off this adorable bunny DIY, we are going to take some white paint and paint the inside of our wine glass. I've seen this craft done quite a few times at different craft fairs, but they've always been pretty expensive. So I wanted to recreate it in an affordable way using Dollar Tree supplies. So in keeping with our Dollar Tree theme, I've never personally seen burlap sold at the Dollar Tree. There might be but I have seen burlap ribbon. So to make our bunny ears, I am taking some burlap ribbon and I am just cutting out basically like a really long oval shape trying to make our bunny ears. And I just eyeballed this, but if you wanted to be really precise and perfect, you could always take a pen or probably a piece of chalk, then you could erase the lines and trace out before you cut but I just kind of went right in there and cut out my ears. I also wanted my bunny to have nice pink inside of her ear so that it matches her nose. So I took some pink paint. This is Ballet Slipper by Waverly, and I am just painting a smaller oval on the center area of our burlap ribbon ears. While the bunny ears dry, we're going to move on to our now dry wine glass and start making our bunny face. You can always use a Sharpie instead of black paint when you're making the whiskers and the eyes, but I really like the glossy finish of paint, so that's what I went with. And I just used black paint for the eyes and the same pink color that we used on the inside of the ears I'm using for the nose. And for the nose, I basically just drew a heart. That's the way that I like and thought it looked the cutest. And then I just added the little bunny mouth and the whiskers. By this point, my bunny ears have all dried, so I'm just taking them and trying to see where I best want to position them. You want them far enough down the glass that it fits with the bunny face, but you also don't want it too far down because then you're going to see a lot of the wine stem. So right in the middle, once you find that spot, you can go ahead and hot glue them down into place. Then I wanted to give my bunny a nice pretty bow, so I took this pastel plaid ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I just made a really simple bow using jute to tie it in the center and then I hot glued that to the center of our bunny's ears. This is a quick and easy Easter DIY using a lot of materials that you probably already have in your house. Thanks for watching, until next time, keep searching, keep creating.